Are we feeding our crops, or are we feeding a problem? For decades, we've pumped our fields full of chemical fertilizers, chasing bigger yields. But what if the price is our planet's health? What if the solution isn't in a factory, but already living in the soil beneath our feet? Welcome to the Fields of Innovation YouTube channel. Smart farming starts here. Discover the future of agriculture, where we share information about technology applied in agriculture. Modern agriculture is built on a foundation of chemical fertilizers, especially nitrogen-based ones like urea and ammonium nitrate. These powerful inputs have fueled the green revolution, enabling farmers worldwide to produce enough food to sustain a growing global population. For decades, they have been the cornerstone of intensive farming, driving yields to unprecedented heights. But this dependence has a dark side, a hidden cost that we are only now beginning to fully understand. Nitrogen is one of the most critical macronutrients for plant life. It's a fundamental building block of chlorophyll, the pigment that allows plants to convert sunlight into energy through photosynthesis. It's also a core component of amino acids, which are the essential units that form proteins. Without an adequate supply of nitrogen, crops become weak and stunted, their leaves turn yellow, and yields plummet dramatically. This is precisely why farmers have historically applied vast quantities of nitrogen fertilizers to their fields, ensuring their crops have what they need to thrive. However, the widespread use of synthetic fertilizers comes with severe environmental consequences. The manufacturing process itself is incredibly intensive. The Haber-Bosch process, which converts atmospheric nitrogen into ammonia, relies heavily on fossil fuels, contributing significantly to greenhouse gas emissions. Once these fertilizers are applied to the soil, the problems continue. Excess nitrogen often leaches into groundwater and runs off into rivers, lakes, and oceans. This nutrient pollution triggers massive algal blooms that deplete oxygen in the water, creating vast dead zones where aquatic life cannot survive. Furthermore, a portion of the nitrogen applied to fields is converted by soil microbes into nitrous oxide, a greenhouse gas that is nearly 300 times more potent than carbon dioxide at trapping heat in the atmosphere. Overapplication also degrades soil health over time, stripping it of organic matter and microbial diversity. This brings us to a crucial question. Can we find a way to replace these harmful chemical fertilizers with natural, sustainable alternatives? The answer may lie with a group of remarkable organisms known as nitrogen-fixing microbes. These are naturally occurring bacteria and other microorganisms that possess the incredible ability to capture inert nitrogen gas and from the atmosphere and convert it into a form that plants can readily absorb and use, such as ammonium and emis elegant. Natural process is called biological nitrogen fixation, or BNF. It's nature's own fertilizer factory, operating silently in the soil. Different groups of these microbes contribute to this vital process in unique ways. Perhaps the most well-known are the symbiotic bacteria, like those from the genus Asterisk Rhizobium Asterisk. These bacteria form a mutualistic partnership with legume plants, such as soybeans, peas, and alfalfa. They live inside specialized structures on the plant's roots called nodules, where they fix nitrogen directly for the plant. In return, the plant provides the bacteria with sugars, a product of photosynthesis. Then, there are the free-living bacteria, such as asterisk azotobacter, asterisk and asterisk clastridium, asterisk. These microbes live independently in the soil and fix nitrogen without needing a specific host plant, enriching the soil for all surrounding vegetation. Another important group is the associative bacteria, like asterisk azospirium, asterisk. These form looser, less formal relationships with the roots of grasses and cereal crops living on or near the root surface. While not as tightly integrated as symbiotic bacteria, they still enhance root growth and improve the plant's ability to take up nitrogen. Finally, we have cyanobacteria, such as asterisk anabina, asterisk and asterisk, nostoc asterisk. These are photosynthetic microbes that can fix nitrogen, particularly in aquatic or flooded environments like rice paddies. Together, these diverse microbial allies offer a powerful pathway to reduce, or in some cases, even entirely replace. Our reliance on synthetic fertilizers, allowing us to work in harmony with nature instead of against it. When we compare these microbial solutions to traditional chemical fertilizers, the advantages are substantial and multifaceted. The most immediate benefit for farmers is a reduced dependence on synthetic inputs. By harnessing the power of biological nitrogen fixation, farmers can significantly lower their application rates of urea or ammonium nitrate, which directly translates into lower input costs and increased profitability. This economic incentive is a powerful driver for adoption. Beyond the farm gate, the benefits for soil health are profound. Unlike chemical fertilizers, which can degrade soil structure and harm microbial life over time, nitrogen-fixing microbes actively improve soil fertility. They not only add essential nitrogen, but also enhance soil structure, increase microbial diversity, and boost organic matter content. 
This creates a healthier, more resilient soil ecosystem that is better equipped to support long-term productivity and sustainability. The environmental advantages are equally compelling. The manufacturing of synthetic fertilizers is one of the largest sources of carbon emissions in the entire agricultural sector. By replacing even a portion of these manufactured products with microbial inoculants, we can achieve a significant reduction in agriculture's overall carbon footprint. Furthermore, microbial nitrogen release is a much slower, more gradual process that is synchronized with the plant's needs. This means less excess nitrogen is left in the soil, drastically reducing the amount that runs off into rivers and oceans. This helps combat eutrophication and protect our precious aquatic ecosystems. While there is an upfront investment in purchasing microbial inoculants, the long-term cost savings can be significant, with studies showing potential reductions in fertilizer costs by 20 to 40 percent, making farming both more profitable and more sustainable. The application of biological nitrogen fixation is not just a theoretical concept. It's already being implemented in farming systems around the world, with great success. The use of asterisk rhizobium asterisk inoculants on legume crops like soybeans, beans, and peas is a well-established practice in both developed and developing nations, consistently boosting yields and reducing the need for supplemental nitrogen. More recently, the focus has expanded to cereal crops such as wheat, maize, and rice which are traditionally heavily dependent on synthetic nitrogen. Farmers are increasingly treating these crops with inoculants containing asterisk azospirillum, asterisk and asterisk and asterisk and the results are very promising, often showing significant improvements in yield and plant health. In the waterlogged environments of rice paddies, particularly in Asia, cyanobacteria are used as a natural biofertilizer. They not only provide a steady supply of nitrogen but also help manage the delicate aquatic ecosystem. These practices are now being trialed and adopted in other rice-growing regions globally. Real-world case studies provide concrete evidence of this potential. Farmers in Australia have successfully used microbial solutions to reduce their synthetic fertilizer use by as much as 30% without sacrificing yield. In the U.S. Midwest, a growing number of corn farmers are adopting microbial inoculants as part of their nutrient management plans to improve efficiency and reduce environmental impact. Similarly, rice growers in India are achieving higher yields and better soil health by integrating biofertilizers into their farming practices. These practical examples from diverse agricultural systems prove that nitrogen-fixing microbes are not just a futuristic idea but a viable and effective tool for today's farmers. Despite their immense promise, it is important to recognize that microbial solutions are not a one-size-fits-all remedy and they do face several challenges and limitations. One of the main hurdles is their dependency on specific environmental conditions. The effectiveness of microbial inoculants can vary significantly depending on the soil type, pH level, climate, and even the specific crop variety being grown. Certain conditions, such as highly acidic soils or extreme temperatures, can limit the survival and efficiency of the introduced microbes. Another significant challenge is competition. When a microbial inoculant is introduced into the soil, it must compete with the vast and complex community of native microbes that are already established there. In some cases, these local populations can outcompete the introduced strains, reducing their ability to colonize the plant roots and fix nitrogen effectively. Logistical issues also play a role. Microbial products are living organisms, which means they require proper storage conditions and often have a limited shelf life. This can make distribution and application more complex than with stable, inert chemical fertilizers. Finally, farmer adoption remains a barrier. Many farmers are understandably skeptical of new technologies and may lack the necessary training or knowledge to apply microbial inoculants correctly for maximum benefit. Without effective demonstration projects, robust educational programs, and clear evidence of their return on investment, adoption rates may remain low. These challenges highlight that while microbes are an incredibly powerful tool, they are not a silver bullet. They must be integrated thoughtfully and strategically into a holistic farm management system. Looking ahead, the future of nitrogen-fixing microbes in agriculture is exceptionally promising. Driven by rapid advancements in science and technology, innovations in biotechnology are leading to the development of enhanced microbial strains that are more robust, more effective, and better adapted to a wider range of soils and climates. Some of the most exciting research is focused on genetic engineering, with scientists exploring the possibility of engineering cereal crops like maize and wheat to form their own nitrogen-fixing symbioses, similar to legumes. This would be a true game-changer for global agriculture. The integration of microbial solutions with precision agriculture technologies will also unlock new levels of efficiency. Farmers will be able to use soil sensors and data analytics to apply tailored microbial inoculants to specific zones within a field, matching the right microbe to the right soil condition for optimal results. 
On a global scale, studies suggest that widespread adoption of these technologies could help cut synthetic fertilizer use by 30 to 40 percent, which would dramatically reduce the environmental damage associated with modern farming. In response to this potential, governments in the U.S., U.K., Australia, and other nations are beginning to roll out incentives and sustainability policies that encourage farmers to adopt biofertilizers as part of broader climate-smart agriculture programs. In conclusion, nitrogen-fixing microbes represent a major breakthrough for the future of sustainable farming. They offer a powerful natural way to reduce our dependence on chemical fertilizers, protect the environment from nutrient pollution and greenhouse gas emissions, and regenerate the health of our soils all while helping to cut costs for farmers and improve their bottom line. However, making this transition a global reality will require a concerted effort. It demands greater awareness among farmers, investment in infrastructure for production and distribution, and the implementation of supportive policies from governments. The future of farming may not be about completely abandoning chemical fertilizers overnight, but rather about creating a new paradigm that intelligently balances natural biological solutions with synthetic inputs. What do you think? Could microbes realistically replace chemical fertilizers on a large scale in the coming decades? Share your thoughts and insights in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe for more in-depth explorations of sustainable farming and green technologies.